हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कैम्प ट्यूटर टुडे वी विल अनरेवल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मोलैरिटी सो हियर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अराइजेस इज व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस टर्म मोलैरिटी द आंसर इज इट एक्सप्रेसेस द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सल्यूट इन ए सोल्यूशन और वी कैन से इट एक्सप्रेसेस द अमाउंट ऑफ सल्यूट प्रेजेंट इन ए पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन मोलैरिटी इज डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल एम molarity of a solution can be calculated by taking number of moles of solute and dividing it by volume of solution taken in terms of liter here the unit of molarity will be moles per liter this is because this mole is derived from number of moles of solute and this liter is derived from volume of solution taken in terms of liter to proceed further how we should know how to calculate number of moles of solute it is calculated by dividing given mass of solute by its molar mass for example let's calculate number of moles of naoh in a 20 g sample here given mass given mass is equal to 20 g molar mass of NaOH we know that is 40 g per mole so number of moles number of moles will be given mass given mass divided by molar mass molar mass which is equal to 20 g by 40 g per mole on solving this we will get 0.5 mole in this way we can calculate number of moles of solute to solve molarity based question we should know another concept that is dilution dilution is the process of decreasing concentration in this case molarity of the solution by adding more solvent this can be understood by taking this example here in solution a water solvent is added as a result what happens solution a gets converted to solution b in this case no amount of solute is added only solvent is added considering this fact we can draw this conclusion that number of moles of solute in solution a taken as na is equal to number of moles of solute in solution b taken as nb also volume of solution a that is taken as va is lesser than volume of solution b that is vb we know that molarity m is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter in the above example n a is equal to n b therefore n is taken as constant and v v is greater than v a or we can say v v is not equal to v a therefore v is a variable that's why molarity m is inversely proportional to volume that means molarity increases with decrease in volume and molarity decreases with increase in volume from this discussion we can conclude that molarity of solution a that is ma is greater than molarity of solution b that is mb to perform dilution we use the formula ca va is equal to cb vb here ca is the concentration of solution and va is the volume of solution before dilution and cb is the concentration of solution and vb is the volume of solution after dilution here by concentration we mean molarity let's solve some numericals to understand the concept of molarity better here the question number 1 is how many moles of solute is present in 250 ml of 0.4 m solution here the molarity of solution is molarity that is m of solution is 0.4 m volume of solution is volume of solution 
is 250 ml we have to convert milliliter to liter we know that 1 milliliter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 liter so 250 ml will be 250 into 10 to the power minus 3 liter and it will be 0 0.25 liter we know that molarity is equal to number of moles of solute by volume of solution in liter so number of moles of solute will be molarity multiplied volume of solution in liter here molarity is equal to 0 0.4 m and volume is equal to 0 0.25 liter as a result we will get 0 0.1 mole therefore in the above solution 0 0.1 mole of mole of solute is present here question number 2 is calculate molarity of solution when 30 ml of 0 0.5 m H2SO4 is diluted to 500 ml. To solve these kind of numericals, we have to use the concept of dilution. Here, initial concentration Ca is equal to 0 0.5 m. Initial volume Va is equal to 30 ml, which is equal to 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 liter this is because 1 milliliter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 liter we will get 0 0.03 liter here we have to find the final concentration that is cb cb will be the question mark here here the final volume vv is equal to 500 ml again we are converting it in terms of liter 500 into 10 to the power minus 3 liter when we will get 0 0.5 liter same this is because 1 milliliter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 liter we know that from the concept of dilution CAVA is equal to CBVV. Here we have to find CB. So CB will be CAVA by VV. We will put all this value here. CA will be 0 0.5M. VA will be 0 0.03 liter, VV will be 0 0.5 liter. By solving this, we will get 0 0.03 M. That means CB is equal to 0 0.03 M. As a result, the concentration of the solution after getting diluted to 500 ml will be 0 0.03 molar. This is our final answer. Here, the third question is, how many grams of HCl are required to prepare 4 liter of 5 M HCl? Here, molarity M, molarity M is equal to 5 M. Volume V is equal to 4 liter. We know that, we know that Molarity is equal to number of moles by volume of solution. So number of moles will be molarity into volume which will be equal to 5 m into 4 liter will get us 20 moles. Right? We know that molar mass of molar 
mass of mass of hcl is equal to 36.5 grams per mole that means 1 mole of hcl of hcl will weigh 36.5 gram so 20 mole of 20 mole of hcl will weigh 36.5 into 20 gram which is equal to 730 gram therefore we can say 730 gram of HCL is required is required to prepare to prepare 4 liter of 5 m HCL solution. In the next video, we will study about basics of normality that is the definition of normality, the unit of normality and how normality of a solution is calculated. To know how to calculate normality of a solution, we should know how to calculate n factor of a solute and equivalent mass of solute. These two we will also study in the next video and we will also solve a question to how to calculate normality of a solution. Thank you for watching the video.